All right, guys, it is Saturday night again, and I am so excited to welcome you back to another episode of Saturday Night Snack and a Movie. Tonight, we are watching another one of my all-time favorites. They're all my all-time favorites, but tonight we are going to watch one of my all-time, all-time favorites, Mrs. Doubtfire. I find it kind of funny that they call her Mrs. Doubtfire because she's no longer married, so she should be Miss Doubtfire, but they're not. They're calling her Mrs. Doubtfire, and in this case, it is actually Robin Williams playing Mrs. Doubtfire. If you if you have not seen this movie, you need to run out and get it right now because this one is hilarious. Robin Williams basically plays a character that ends up getting a divorce from his wife, but he still wants to see his kids, so he dresses up like Mrs. Doubtfire, so he can become their babysitter. If you haven't seen it, I'm not going to give you any spoilers tonight. I'm going to let you watch it for yourself. The only thing I am going to tell you is that there is a scene where there is a run by fruiting, which is exactly what our snack is based on tonight. Tonight we are going to make run by fruiting salad. But the only thing that is salad about it is, well, basically nothing. It's delicious. It doesn't taste anything like a salad. It's made from fruit and Cool Whip and Jello. Come with me. We're going to run out and buy everything that we need, and then I'm going to show you how to make it, and then we can kick back and watch Mrs. Doubtfire. Good old Walmart. We might want some of these. These are the cherries with the stems, and it'd be nice to have a cherry on top. All right, we need some original Cool Whip. I'm sure you could use great value. It's only $1.07, Cool Whip is $1.98, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with the regular Cool Whip this time. Okay, so we need three cans of fruit. Now you could go the easy way and just choose like fruit cocktail here, but I think we're gonna get some specific things like one, I definitely want some mandarin oranges. I want pineapple, but I don't want the big chunks. Okay, maybe this, eh, that's crushed. I want like the smaller ones. Oh, here we go, pineapple tidbits. That's a pretty big can, but we probably won't end up using the whole can. Okay, and I also want some peaches. I don't want sliced. Here's peach chunks. I think that'll work. We need a bag of mini marshmallows, and look at this, if you wanted to step it up, you could use the Lucky Charms Magically Delicious marshmallows, but we're gonna go for these right here, the mini fruit marshmallows. And the last thing I believe we need is a box of Jello, and I think we're gonna go for cherry, if I can get it out of this box here. Yeah, there we go, that should be pretty dang good. Okay, so I always try to make these snacks as easy as I possibly can, and this is literally one of the easiest ones I've ever made before. I'm just gonna run through the stuff that I picked up for this. First, we've got cherry gelatin, which is, you know, just jello, but this is a cheaper one. We've got the mini fruit marshmallows. You don't have to use fruit. This just adds some extra delicious tastiness to it. We've got a package of original Cool Whip here. Now, you could use the cheaper one. You're only gonna save about 80 cents, I think it was. We've got a can of mandarin oranges, a can of pineapple tidbits, a can of peach chunks, and a little jar of maraschino cherries. Now you can mix these in if you want to. In fact, I just might do that with some of these, but I bought them because they're the kind that have the, uh, the stem on them, and I thought it would just look cool once we put a gob of this stuff in here to put a little cherry on top. <laughs> so aside from the basic ingredients, you just need a couple of bowls here, a measuring cup. I'm gonna use this to strain the juice from the fruit so that we can actually keep the juice and drink it because you don't mix the juice in. And then you just need a spatula to mix it all up. So we're gonna put our big bowl over here to mix everything in. We're gonna use a smaller bowl here to drain our fruit. We're gonna start with our Cool Whip. Just gonna put it all in this big bowl here. That's been in the freezer, so we need to let it get a little soft. And while we do that, we're gonna strain our fruit. So we'll start with the peaches here. 
And we'll go on to our oranges. And then our pineapple. I think we're only going to use about half of that pineapple. Now this juice, I'm going to pour into a jar here. And we'll save that for a tasty drink. Now I don't think it really matters, but I put all the fruit in a separate bowl because I want to mix the jello into that first once it gets a little softer. Okay, that's been sitting a little bit, so we're going to go ahead and mix our gelatin in here. Just pour the whole thing in. And we're actually going to use a fork to mix that in. because It's easier to get it smashed into the Cool Whip that way. Once we got that started good, we can switch back over to the spatula and just start folding that in and kind of smashing it together. I did end up cutting up some cherries to put in there. We're just going to go ahead and dump all our fruit in and start folding that all together. That smells so good right now. Once that's mixed up pretty good, we're going to go to our fruity marshmallows. We're going to use about half the bag here. That looks about right. And just start folding those in right along with the fruit. Mm, 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 mm. Mrs. Doubtfire would be proud. Run by fruiting salad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, once that is mixed up pretty good, we're going to go ahead and put that in the fridge. Now, that needs to be in there for probably about three hours. So we'll let that chill in there for about three hours, and then we'll come back and give it a taste test. Now, I said we needed a measuring cup. We didn't really end up needing that. We just, uh, instead of measuring them out, we just used about half the bag of these marshmallows. And honestly, we probably could have put the rest of the bag in. There's really not all that many in there. And I did cut up a few of those cherries and put them in. I just thought that would add a little bit of tastiness to it as well. But we're still going to put one on top. As for our juicy juice from all of our fruit, I want to take a little taste of that. Ah, oh, that smells so good right there. That is delicious. You'd probably get such a bad stomach ache if you just downed that all right now. Okay, it's been about three hours, guys. I went ahead and switched this over into a different bowl about halfway through, just to make sure that it got chilled all the way through. Mmm, that smells so good right now. Let's get a little bit of this dished up, and then we're going to have a little taste test. There we go. Look at that. Little cherry on top. <laughs> Let's have the cherry first. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, we got those marshmallows in here, all kinds of different fruit. Look at that. Mmm. That is so good. It tastes like a run-by fruiting. All right, well, I'm going to take my run-by fruiting salad and my Mrs. Doubtfire downstairs, pop the DVD in, and kick back for an awesome movie night.